Why is there a flaming chicken? A flaming ghost chicken. All right. They did a really good job with the soundtrack. And I don't know why people were complaining about the art style. I mean, it's different, but it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Some people. Can I leave? Can I leave the hold? But no! Yes? What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is? I throw you back down here. Nothing's <laughs> worse than this. <laughs> Where's my bunk? You might be all right inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Tasty. Very tasty. All right. Uh, what if I need to, um, you know. Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I ate an unsightly ledge. Shit out the window. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Oh. Uh, is that the whole answer? Yeah. You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hold sparkling. As if it was clean. Now, get to work. Alright. Yo, ho, yo, ho. Pirate's life for me. That sounds like fun. Oh. No. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. These are all the same. Just a bunch of rah rah stuff about ship's company culture. These are all the same. Just a bunch of rah. <laughs> Get on board a new crew member pamphlet. Copyright LeChuck. All rights reserved. Get inspired, follow the Chuck's lead, betray trust, throw tantrums, commit fraud, overstay overcome, bear false witness, destroy the beloved, destroy the beautiful, threaten bodily harm, commit bodily harm, and murder those who get in your way. Condensed from the book, The Chuck Way. Get to work, don't get fired. The ship is enchanted to be unboardable by anyone but a crew. That includes you, so don't worry about it. Unless you get fired, then worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? Well, I can't see much through this thing. Well, I can't see much through this thing. Yep. 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 No screwed. Okay. At least they don't smell like live chickens. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. More chickens? What's inside the crate? <laughs> you! Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage, Withered Zombie Man. Have we met before? Uh, yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guavatini on my necktie. That must have been you. Necktie? And you plague me now just as before. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No problem. Oh, that's why he doesn't know me. Hang on. I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. Oh. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. It is. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Hmm. Can I use the knife on the screw? There's knife as I can really use this. Wedged in there. Okay. Nope. Hey. 
<laughs> the rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. Oh, hang on, hang on. Um, do I have a sponge? Where's my sponge gone to? We did have a sponge earlier. Who took my sponge? The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. Okay, so it's we won't be needing fine. that, apparently. Scoop up grease. No way am I picking that up with my hands. Uh, with what else, then? With the mop, maybe? Looks like you missed a spot. Aww. Oi! You missed a spot. Come on. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? I'll just put a little dab on there. Oi, you missed a spot. Okay, this... seriously, get some new dialogue. Oi, you missed a spot. <laughs> this is gonna go forever. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Okay, this is never gonna stop. Oh, nuts. Take a break. I wonder what it's made out of. Got some ghostly chicken feed now. Taste it. Uh, I don't think so. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? Feeding chickens now. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? There we go, we can remove the screws now. Bong. Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect sailing weather. Hmm. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. Oi! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! <laughs> Swap the ghost chicken. Yeah, I need more grease on thing. Need more grease. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I'm greasing everything up. You missed a spot. <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> I've lost my screw. Can we grease up Murray as well? Close enough. <laughs> Just put in the you grease everywhere. Oh, nuts. <laughs> I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Grease up the portholes so we can go through. I've got an achievement, the Super Swabby. Is it ghost up now? Can we feed it some more? What are we doing with all the chicken feed? Hmm. Alright, let's take some chicken feed, get out the, the mile of the mess I made. This is now a slightly greasy porthole. The grease helps. A little. Slightly greasy, so we need to get more greasy. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. You missed a spot. How oh, much nuts. do I need to put up there? I think that's it. It doesn't look like that. Um, that is one revoltingly greasy portal. It's working. Oh, okay. That looks safe. That's out of cannons. 
That's an evil looking ship. There's a ladder up. You're in. Can't see anything. Climb in. This one doesn't open. Doesn't open. It's a rudder. Oh, we can hold our breath for eight minutes. Okay. That's a big rudder. That's it? It's a greasy porthole. I guess we go this way. I can't see anything. Climb in. This one doesn't open. Man, it looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. Climb over the railing. Blah, blah. Oh, oh, the Chuck is making a speech. Blah, blah, empty blah, blah, this is a bunch of empty blah, containers blah, of monkey blood blah, and squid ink. Blah, 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 blah. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. Yeah. The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. I want to touch it now. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? Mm, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Okay. Also, cinnamon, mint, yeah. and brimstone. And some coloring and preservatives. Blah, 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 oh, blah. And blah. live chicken. Blah, 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 blah. Listen, blah. you shouldn't worry about this yet. <laughs> Wait till you're 12 or so. Thanks for the videos, meters. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent. You there, in the back. New guy. Yes, sir. Hmm. Familiar somehow. Do you ever go to swabby conventions? <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. Sure. A flat one. Any questions? Can I have a race? Oh. <laughs> Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. He's gonna get pissed at some point. Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem. Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Oh, Got okay. it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. <laughs> he wanted the raise as well. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then. Relax. Adjourn. We'll finish the potion and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Okay, potion first, then map. Alright. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. I mean, Murray, sure. The potion smells like it's ready to go. It's just missing the flattened skull. Nice looking skull you've got there, Apple Bob. Now, before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? He's also got Relax. that I was just fishing lure in the head. I'll find a skull someplace else. Ready for cannon firing. Light the cannon. Ready for cannon firing. <laughs> oh, 
No part on it. Hello. Now it's fun. Into the ship. Use the potion This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Can we climb to the crow's nest? No. There's nothing you need up there, new guy. Get out of my way. Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? His name is stuff? Flambe. Oh, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this girl. Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. There's everything I need up there. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. <laughs> What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. You'll live longer if you remember that, new guy. Do we have a union? You sure don't, Swabby. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences. Yeah, devil crabs like limbs, apparently. Mm, hello. The very first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet scruffles. Attempt to pet scruffles. Uh-oh. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. <laughs> Toasty. 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 Uh, sorry to intrude your ghastliness. I told ye to find a flattened skull. Do it before I decide to use yours instead. But that's not flattening. Now's not a good time to attract attention. All right, well, maybe we go into the hold of the ship then. Oh, there is uh, our little hold. Reminder to all crew, extinguish demon fire with the proper extinguishment. Other methods will not work. Stop overfeeding Molly, you rotten clods. She has digestive trouble and I'm tired of cleaning it up. Who's Molly? These open plan offices are all the rage now. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I barely touched it. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. <laughs> I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying Can to leave. Can we the chicken feed to the rat? No. Sneak to the Chuck's cabin. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Wait a minute. That looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. If I'm wrong about what that mm. is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. That's it? Toasty. Toasty. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. What is this on the back? It's from underpants or something. Alright. So we can't do anything in here. Huh. The water starts to seize, this us down again. You're out and about. Boink. Here we are again. What's that? Ew. Bush chicken splat. Nope. Nope. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Pick up Murray. Hey Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. I really think you should come with me. No. 
I can get you close to LeChuck. Hmm. I would very much like to be able to spy on LeChuck himself. <laughs> very well. <laughs> you may transport me. I got a skull now. How's it going in there, Murray? I didn't realize how hard it would be to see anything from your pocket. Good thing I have excellent hearing. Should I mop up the ghost the chicken splat? Now what? I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Close enough. Close enough. Going somewhere, Swabby? You haven't cleaned up that mess. Get back to Marvin. Hmm. I don't think so. That is one revolting. Wash switch through again. Let's see. Can we? We can't squeeze through there, right? I don't know if I'd rather. That's a big rudder. That's it. How's it going in there, Murray? I didn't realize how hard it would be to see anything from your pocket. Good thing I... Maybe need to sabotage the rudder later on. Huh. How's the potion coming? You heard the gap. Didn't go and find a poke cock. Be too flat for the skull. It was a uh, laundry thingy. Can we use it to flatten the Murray? I don't think he wants to see a broken laundry machine. So how do we fix it? It just fell apart. I was barely even here. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Hmm. There's nothing you need up there, new guy. Look up. The crow's nest is up there. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Uh, pardon me, fearsome leader. I told ye to find a flattened skull. I have a skull for the potion. Is it a flat one? Not exactly. I said a flattened skull, ya useless bilge rat. Hmm. How can we flatten this thing? Looks like it's empty. Can we fire Murray out of the cannon? No. Looks like it's empty. Hmm. What happens if I throw ghostly chicken feed in there? Nope. Sorry if I offended you. Oh, that's okay. I know you're under pressure. Sorry if I offended you. Oh, that's okay. Hmm. Well, the potion smells like. Hey, that skull isn't flat. How can we flatten the skull? This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid. We, we probably need to use the um, Looks like it's empty. washing thingy because it flattens stuff, right? But we can't use it because it's broken. How the hell do we fix it? I got these from the porthole. Screws on the laundry machine, just a thought. You. Make a lot of sense, actually. Good point. Good job, Simon. 
There we go. Latin Murray. Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. Hells of Latin Skull. Nice. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? It looks like it's empty. That was easy. Toss it in there. Very flat and blurry. Hey, what are you? Look. Next stop, Monkey Island. Swabby! Good. Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And Why? also. <gasps> Oh, he's gonna get destroyed. He's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. <laughs> This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start it's making again. a potion again. I'll be in me cabin, writing me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know LeChuck like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. Oh, There was God. an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey. Oh, we got Murray again. It's empty now. Find an alternative way to Monkey Island. Okay. Looks like it's empty. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, we can go to the crow's nest now. It's the crow's nest for us. As a spyglass. Wait, she's. Hey, Flambe! Ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison! Ready the cannons! Don't worry about it. The Chuck yes. already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a. We can steal that cauldron! That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. Those double-crossing thieves. That's piracy. Well, I'm not sure what else you were expecting under the circumstances. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. They don't have skulls. Aha! They're missing a skull! We don't need a potion because they have one! Mm, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great! If you say so, Swabby. Can I take this? These things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all did the same. These things get more sophisticated every year. Well, it looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. That's a reading. I've got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island. So you said. Oh, someone who cares. 
This lookout dude is kind of useless. Back to the deck. Back to the deck we go, and we need to talk to who? Bob. I got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island after all. Sounds exciting. Rose is right over there. You should get her opinion on it. All right. I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No. It involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm going to help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hold. Whoa, hang on. Well. Why, well, I, I thought the whole point of this voyage was to go to Monkey Island. It was, but that was strictly LeChuck's idea. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. Uh, seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three board. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. Great. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Oh, God. This could take a while. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Mm, not so far. As quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. Through a reddish haze of constant anger? I don't know. That's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Okay. Oh. We'll have to find out. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I can come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. All right. So, let's see what we can find in the hold. We just go to LeChuck and see what happens. Yeah, to enter LeChuck's cabin. Hello. You, Swabby, come over here. Ye be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? I like what you've done with the place. Look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I like an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't 
forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. Oh. <laughs> okay, well that wasn't good. Um Stop overfeeding Molly, you rotten clods. She has digestive trouble and I'm tired of cleaning it up. What's that? Fair Flare going. Uh, flare? Oh, flare. Yes. Forgive me, but I'm unclear. What exactly is your job on this ship? I'm the second mate, bosun, gunner, ship surgeon, and composer. And I do the laundry. Wow. Save a little for the rest of us, huh? You after my jobs? Better not be. I need the cash. I'm saving up. What are you saving up for? None of your business, Swabby. What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. Oh, I'm God. happy with the first two notes. They're both do. The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes, my target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. You must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? How's the score going? It would be going a lot better with fewer interruptions. Uh, Flair? Yes? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back, right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. Oops. Brave the ship's galley. Okay, that's what I have. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. That's held shut with a pretty sturdy piece of timber. Was there like something falling out of the cupboard on his head at some point? Maybe that's why they have it shut now. At first I thought the privy must be behind there, but no, it's just the pantry. What is all this stuff anyway? Oh, you know, urchin husks, bile duck extract, sugar, fangweed, nothing unusual. You'd think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. You might want to change this water someday. Just a thought. It's not water. I'm marinating the plate scrapings for tomorrow's dinner. Disgusting. Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It was demon pepper, made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. That's Doesn't good. matter though, the shaker's empty. I'm all out. Whoa. I'm not sure those are quite dead yet. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. <laughs> it sounds like screaming, but really quiet. What's the soup of the day? Some former crew members who uh, didn't work out. Yikes. It's a delicacy. Can I put the chicken feed in the apple thingy? No. All right, let's talk with her. So, Putra. Chef, Putra, please call me Chef. Dr. Everybody Putra does. side. They do? No, never, but they should. You pass up when you're making the potion in Monkey Island 1? That's correct. And there's a part where you fall by the tree in Monkey Island 2 and your parents do the weird dance where the skeletons? Yep. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. What was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. Poor soul. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. 
Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Me? Um... Another zombie bit me while trying to eat my brain, of course. A bite? That old wife's tale. If you didn't want to tell me, you should have just said so. Uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Too Zombies dead. need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. They think all we want to do is eat brains. Which, to be honest, I do want. But not constantly. That's a terrible stereotype. So it's about brains anyways. Anyway... How come people don't call you chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery yeah. of materials and technique. Whereas a chef Effort, thank you. adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. I would go for haggis dumplings, hell yeah. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? Ha! I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. I need to get him to sign yeah. this. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? Yeah, I'm voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. All right. Let's see if we can talk to LeChuck. Shouldn't ye be swabbing? Jeez, don't yell so much, dude. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. That's my private area, Swabby. It's got a stress ball. One of your ancestors? None of your business, Swabby. What do you think you're doing, Swabby? Back where you belong. 
Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. One more thing, Swabby. Yes. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. God. All right. Maybe we can swap these. Not messes found around the ship. That's a mess. No, oh, I made that mess. I already had some chicken feed. I wonder what it's made out of. I wonder what it's made out of. At least they don't smell like live chickens. I go out here, will it shit again? If yes, what do I do with the shit? Is it shit? Ew. Have to lock that. Nope. Let's go out and see what we can find. Up, up, up. What about this rat though? Can we kill the rat with a knife? No. Hiding Putra's promotion request in with my Swabby report isn't going to be any use. These open plan offices are all the rage now. Okay. Could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. You have to make a mess. Watch the Chuck signature. That seems dangerous. I better just show it to Iron Rose like I'm supposed to. I don't think I could mimic his signature. It's pretty distinctive. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. Oh, he doesn't like us, apparently. Let's see if he got caught on the side or something. Yeah, it looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. Put the ghost yeah, chicken feet like on there, no? more useful for fishing than stopping. Nope, no Murray either. Um, um. So you can find anything at the rudder. Maybe he got caught. Ha! I thought so. Hello there. Kill it. You. Nice knife. That's Flair Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby! Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me! The Chuck gave me your job. You! Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. <laughs> I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. But it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git! I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? Well, I guess you've got me there. <laughs> you got me. If I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? 
It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon! I get you for this. He just, he just, uh, can't decide what he wants to do, right? Oh, he's pinned. Can I get some grease? Do I really want to get him out, though? It's Flare Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home. What did the knife? She wanted the knife, right? No, hang on. She wanted the knife. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pull that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid player. Yes. You have a vote. Uh, Flair? What? Well, how come you stabbed Gullet? He asked too many questions. Oh. How many questions did he ask? One. <laughs> uh, Flair? <laughs> what? How's the we shouldn't ask more we'll questions. Be going a lot better with fewer interruptions. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yes. I want to check in on your vote about going to Monkey Island. Relax. I'll vote with you. I owe you one. Go swap a deck or something. I'll right. we'll do. Oh, we've got that. We use the report of the dirt here or something. Add this to the report. I'm not sure if this is ectoplasm or what. Ugh. Splattered ghost chicken glob in hold. It's revolting. And it's a slipping hazard. Ugh. Guess I should have cleaned that. But I'll leave it for the next swabby. Three spots in hold. I already added this to my report. It's a good thing I added that then. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. Oh, I made a mess on the floor. I can't add to the report while holding this mop. I'm making creative messes I've right now. I've already added this to my report. What? Right. Swamp the ghost chicken. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. There we go. Can we do grease up chicken now? I've already added this to my report. Okay, that's not my problem then. I need more. I need more disgusting things on the, the report card. Grease spots. Oh, maybe in the kitchen. would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. There we go. Can I use my my thing to remove the boards? No. It won't keep anyone out. But it Need to find more dirt. Oh, maybe a report on the rat. Ghost rats. Ugh. There we go. That's it. I've completed my report. I Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? <laughs> yes. 
All right. It's a stack of papers waiting for LeChuck's signature. Not a problem. Put it in there. It's a stack of papers, including Putra's promotion paperwork. There we go. Now we can get the promotion settled. What? <laughs> I want this map. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. All right, LeChuck, here you go. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. It's, it's... All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Of course, sir. <laughs> Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. So, Chef, you sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? I do owe you one, but I'm still voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. That doesn't work here. Remind me what you told me about the pepper. It's very, very, very hot and very empty. Hmm. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. Here we go, two suede. He wants to laugh, right? What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Sea shanties? Hmm, not so much. Clog dancing? Hmm, not so much. Basket weaving? Well, no. Bowling? Not really. Flea circus? Nope. Keel hauling? Not really. Embroidery? Nope. Improvisational theater? Not really. Model shipbuilding? Nope. Animal husbandry? Nope. Meditation? Nope. Yodeling? Nope. Yodeling. Carpentry? Nah. Whittling? Well, no. Whistling? Well, no. Philosophical discussion? Nope. Water ballet? Well, no. Gin rummy? Nah. Checkers? Nah. Historical novels? I do enjoy reading. Aha! Biographies? I do enjoy reading. Autobiographies? I do enjoy reading. Adventure stories? I do enjoy reading. Travel guides? I do enjoy reading. Self-help books? I do enjoy reading. It's always saying the same thing. Crime thrillers? I do enjoy reading. Speculative fantasy? I do enjoy reading. So he wants to read some stuff. Romance novels? I do enjoy reading. Reading? I do enjoy reading. Reading? I do enjoy reading. I'll see what I can find. Um, what about stamp papers? How about a little light reading? Are you kidding? Reading those sounds like actual work. No thanks. Hmm. Would you like to read this pamphlet? No thanks. I've already read that lots of times. Doesn't want the business card. It's torn and ugly, but strangely compelling. Hmm. Didn't the guy write poetry? Maybe we can see this book somehow. Oh, this guy has a book. This guy has a book. Working hard? Never. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Okay. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. 
do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Does it hurt to have your head on fire? I'm a demon. We're sort of all about that. You get used to it. If you stuck your head in a bucket of water, would it help? Demon fire burns into water, so no. I'm guessing you don't wear hats. Once in a while, <laughs> I look good in them for a few seconds. I can't stop thinking about your head. I mean, what it would be like to have a head that was on fire. I can help you out with that if you are really curious. Think you'll be done reading soon? No, I don't really have anything else to do. Tell me again about Scorched Alaska. Prepared correctly, it should be like a hot poker to the tongue. All right. Uh, about your... It doesn't mean much to me one way or the other. You want me to... <sighs> Figure of speed. Do something nice for me. Okay, me to make him food. Keep up the bad work. Always. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe make some chicken feet soup. Toasty. Time again already? Well, let's get to it. Yes. That's straight, you shifty, feckless parasites. <laughs> Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Flay you are alive. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Ki oh, he didn't take his. He took his book with him. In Conclusion, shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass. All right, same time tomorrow then. Dismissed. No, 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 no. I wanna, wanna loot more. Well, that didn't go well. That's a hot poker. Ready for cannon firing. I need that though. That's a uh... <laughs> top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. We can't pet scruffles, apparently. Right. That time again already? Well, let's get to it. Come to order, you murdering, traitorous dogs. Um, Earlier um. today, in fact, not even an hour ago, I clearly heard someone on this deck mention Guybrush Threepwood. Out loud! If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 it's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. It's not much of a map. Yeah, why don't we take it? There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. Swap for the Chuck's uh, map. This isn't remotely like a map. He'd notice it right away. That's a map, though. A map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need a unanimous vote from the crew. No problem. Map to the secret. Begin your search at the berry bush. Follow the stone monkey hand. Stick to the path by the wooden chicken. Sneak past the bees and heat the sign. X marks the spot. Okay. Hopefully he'll be fooled for long enough. And who knows? Ooh, I can't decide which is more disturbing. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm nice, a slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Okay, time to leave, I guess. Hang on. If he's blind to everybody, we can steal the salt shaker. It's empty. I don't need to clutter up my inventory with another item. But why? It's Chef Putra's empty demon pepper shaker. 
It's empty. I don't need to clutter up my inventory with another item. Old boots and deodorant. It's like a college dormitory. Yeah. Master? Yeah. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. Yeah. There must be something fairly nasty in there. What could it be? Pan I could get mauled or something. Have we opened this with our knife? No. I could get mauled or something. Okay. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now. <sighs> it's empty. I don't need to clutter up my inventory with another item. Can't fill this in there. What happens if I do something with the crackers? No. No crackers in there? Nope. Cut up the crackers? Nope. Anything in the hold? Nope. Maybe we can get to the chicken. Ugh, Egg I'll summer. keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. Yeah, it's probably fine. There's nothing else we can do here right now. All right. Reminder to all crew, extinguish demon fire with the proper extinguishment. Other methods will not work. Stop overfeeding Molly, you rotten clods. She has digestive trouble and I'm tired of cleaning it up. So this is, is that Molly? Who's Molly? I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Maybe we just need to overfeed her. Maybe Molly is the other one that's shitting all over the place. made out of. How much more chicken feet do I need? That's not working. Okay, that's that's definitely not working. Maybe we should feed another one of those chickens? the map now we just need to sway these guys somehow I wonder what it's made out of I'm just making a huge mess down here after overfeeding them and then come back no I'll keep my distance mothers are more vicious defending their young okay let's see plan offices are all the rage now. In conclusion, shape up or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass. All right, same. Same time tomorrow. I 
I still think you should. I don't want to talk. I'm having a crisis of faith about not being inspired. Mm, okay. If I didn't search a little. Do you remember giving me this at my <laughs> orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you right, want me so, to. That works for me. So, we've got three votes out of four, right? Plum base support is what we need. And Apple Bob support. That looks like a permanent stain. Ew, smells worse than it looks. Nope. Nope. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid. Is there anything else we can do over there now? You still alive? Hey, Gullet. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Can I get you anything? You can get me unstuck from this rudder. Thank you very much, you insufferable slug. I was thinking more like a breath mint. Ugh. Can I get you anything? You can get me unstuck. I don't think so. Ugh. Okay, there's nothing happening here. Yeah, the burning guy wants something to eat. But, how do we get it to him? Maybe we talk to the cook? Maybe we talk to the cook now. Now that she's back in her kitchen, maybe she can tell us what we need. Oh, looks like it's empty. That's a gun. Hello. So, chef. What exactly is a scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. I don't suppose you know how to make scorched Alaska? Of course I can make scorched Alaska. I have to warn you though, it's not going to be very spicy. It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska, extra mild. Thanks. Light as seafoam. Salty. Sweet. Remind me what you told me. It's very and very empty. I have an idea. Didn't you say like, like it's it's a hot poker to the to the hang on? It's glowy. Ready for cannon firing. Can I put this on here? That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Put it in the cannon? That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Damn it. I cut this off. Yes. Alright. This should make it good and scorchy. There we go. This is a bunch of empty containers. There we go. And coloring aid. Uh huh. That knife is important. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska, sweet poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. It seals me inside, like a lost love. A masterpiece. Hey, there's some missing. I, um, well. Much respect, Swabby. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so uh, let's just yes. say I'll vote your way 
Next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Perfect. Thanks. We're solving all our problems now, guys. This is going fast. All right, buddy. Here, yeah, got a book of... Hang on. Let's keep the joke book. Let's do it. It's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. It's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. Perfect. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. Perfect. We got the map, we got everything else. Get the unanimous vote. Let's do it. Um. One bell. Voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. Now we're shooting the skull over to the other ship. So then you went to Monkey Island. Almost. It was time to send Murray back to Madison, somehow. We got a freaking gun here. It shouldn't be a problem, right? Send Murray back to Captain Madison. Load Murray into the cannon. Okay, Murray, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. Fire away! She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. The secret. <laughs> Oh. Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Hey. Oh no, he threw the iPad. Oops. I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. You move like a wounded hippopotamus. You move like a wounded hippopotamus. You move like a dead one. Uh oh, that's not good. He won. <laughs> okay. Decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all buttress and no cutlass. You're all mattress and a blast. <laughs> oh. Hey, that wasn't nice. But hey, cheating. I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one. Oh, been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Hi, <laughs> Threepwood. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Back to Monkey Island! Six 
minute walk to Monkey Island. Lucky Good thing. thing I can still hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. Is it more or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for ten minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. One time I heard you say twelve. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do ten minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. Now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Well, here we go. But guys, I'm gonna leave that, the rest of this. For our next live stream, we got...